This is your beautiful boosted booty workout. We're gonna tone and lift your beautiful bum. I'm Action Jacqueline, and make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get to our workout. Go ahead and start standing with your booty band around the tops of your knees right here. We're gonna start with a squat all the way down and then we're gonna relevate up onto the balls of our toes just like this. We've got 10 exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And we're gonna start in five seconds. You ready for this one? I love this type of workout and the booty band. Here we go, down and then up, down and up. So take it at your own pace. And what's great about the booty band is that it's really training your muscles to turn these muscles on here, because sometimes it can get really into the quads, but when you have this tension here, the feedback to the muscles and to the nervous system, it reminds you to push out outwards to activate these outer glutes here. So if you have sleepy glutes, then this is going to be a perfect workout for you to do all the time. Great if you're gonna go on a run, do it before the run. That'll help your knees especially. So really good to just keep in your arsenal of good workouts to do. Activating those glutes. Three, two, one, and rest, good. So now we're gonna squat side and little lift. Squat, shift to the other side, little lift, okay? Flex the foot, here we go. Down and up. Notice how my toe is slightly down, right? So I'm not turning my toes up and alternating side to side. So if you're the person who kind of tends to get that pain in the tops of the knees, like right there in the middle of the kneecap, the patella, this is really good because this is going to put the activation here on the glutes, all right? So I always tend to use my quads a lot. So when I started using the booty band like this, it changed everything for me. I felt so much more balanced and strong. So, there you go. <laughs> Up and lower, good. Okay, let's come onto our backs now. We're gonna go into a bridge. So, pushing those knees out to the side and bringing the feet together and come on up, lower down, good. Up and lower, up. So I have my feet all the way together. If it's not comfortable for you, you can take the, the feet apart a little bit. I'm actually gonna take my feet apart a little bit. I feel the glutes more when I separate them there like this. So I'm really pressing into the band the entire time. I'm pushing actively out the whole time, squeeze the glutes in and also pull the abs in. So actively squeeze the glutes from the bottom and lower down. Squeeze up, lower down, nice. Try to tuck the pelvis under as much as possible. Okay, a little break here. We're gonna come back up into our bridge pose, tuck the pelvis under, close the ribs up, press the palms down, and then little squeezes out, good. Now press, 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 press. I want you to actively squeeze those glutes. Don't just sit here, actively work them right there as you press out and out and out, good. Try to tuck the pelvis under so you're not just going into the low back. Tuck under and press, out, 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 good job. Come on up, Whew. 50 seconds, it's a good amount of time. Okay, we're gonna come up to all fours and we're gonna do hydrant to the side, lift and lower. Get right into it right away. Shoulders are over the wrists. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Your goal here is to not let everything shift over to the other side. Okay, pretend like you're against a wall right here and there's no way you can shift over. You gotta stay right in the center, good. So 
about elongating through your spine, that you're not starting to get too much like kind of in a tucked or a tailbone lift situation. Keep the tailbone nice and neutral here. Abs in. Good, take a little breather, and then we're gonna go to the other side. Whew. Just nice, easy, deep breaths. to our left side now, and we're gonna go into a clam. So feet, hips, and shoulders are all in one line, and we just open and close right here. Lift and lower. So after doing those hydrants, you're definitely gonna feel this one. But this is my routine that I like to do before I go for a run. Um, if any of you guys are lifting heavy out there, this is definitely a great glute activation video to do before you're doing any sort of heavy lifting or if you're just experiencing some sort of knee pain it's always good to look up the joints and see okay how can I strengthen around these other joints Whew. or if you have hamstring strains things like that really the list goes on and on all the reasons if you had a baby recently and you kind of want to bring these hip bones back together again good there's so many reasons. Of course, and then you just want to sculpt and lift your booty. This is great for that too. So you get all of the aesthetic qualities of bonuses, plus all of the, you know, functioning, having a beautiful, optimal body. Good. Okay, last exercise. Go ahead and quickly bring the band all the way down to your ankle, and you're gonna put it around one ankle, and then you're opposite the bottom of the foot like this, around the arch, all fours, and you're gonna kick at the diagonal, and then pull it in. Kick and in. Might take a few to just kind of figure out where to put your band, but I like to put it around the ankle, and then around the arch of the foot, like a stirrup. And then you're gonna extend at the diagonal, okay? Make sure that it's at the diagonal, not just straight back we can really get deep into that glute need over there. And then stay strong in the upper body. So try not to collapse and kind of compensate up here. Keep the core nice and tight. This straight spine, tailbone neutral, shoulders over wrists, all the little things. Just go down your little checklist and check in on your body. All right, and then just switch it right over, put it on the stirrup of the other foot, and then around the ankle. Whew. And then we are here at our last exercise, let's go. If you're feeling spicy, you could always just repeat this whole video, do it twice through for a real, real booty burner. I challenge you, hopefully one of you does it out there. Definitely DM me, Action Jackman, when you do that because I would love to know. Good, reach and in, reach and in. Remember to keep the upper body strong and solid. All right.
right, make sure you stretch them out for at least like 30 seconds here. My favorite one always is to do the butterfly stretch. I'm proud of you for taking care of your body. Awesome job today.